So this one essentially wants us to um, write a program that finds the summation of every number from one to num, num being a number, um, any random number. And essentially we would want to consider all the elements that come before that number and add those elements with themselves. And that number will always be a positive integer greater than zero. So here we're passing two into the summation method and what's happening is um, um, all the numbers which come before two, like one and two, those are being added with themselves and it's returning three. So the number itself is included in that count. So the way that I think about it um, is we'll have an integer, right? And that would be the summation of essentially what we're adding on to. And we're going to have a for loop and for loops usually, um, they usually have an index uh, i, which keeps track of an index, but we're not working in the context of arrays here. Instead, we wanna iterate for a particular amount of times. So my idea is to start from one and say that i should be less than or equal to um, n. Um, and of course I say this because I want to essentially build up I uh, on each iteration, go from one to two to three to four, and then all the way to N. And um, essentially what that would do is it would allow me to actually take each number and um, use the accumulator pattern to add that onto itself. So I would have um, summation will equal summation plus, uh, plus I. And so, on each iteration, I would be one and then two and then three. And then as it finds a value on each iteration, it would add on to itself using the accumulator pattern. And um, and it would only do this, um, it would only do this, it, it, would, it would only do this all the way to N, but it won't pass N because that's essentially what the for loop parameter states um, is that I must be less than or equal to N. And so in fact, it's not going to be less than, it's gonna build its way while being less than, and then eventually it's gonna be equal to n, and then we're just not gonna come inside the for loop. Um, and so after it's said and done, we'll just return summation. 